Hi everybody and welcome to my Unruly Housewife channel. I thought I'd make you a video today to catch up on what I've been doing. Although if you've read the title of the video, you could probably catch me up. <laughs> um, I'm gonna apologize in advance in case, in case the light keeps changing. There's, it's daylight and there's only so much I can do about it. So, sorry, that <laughs> kind of noise came out of my mouth then. But anyway, sorry if it does. Um, yeah, so if, as you probably read below, I got a tattoo at, I'm 64, so that's a little bit mad of me, but what are you going to do? You know, you've got to experience things before, uh, <laughs> I was going to say before I die. That's not on the cards yet, but you know, it's getting more like it. So anyway, creaky chair, changing light, we don't care. Let's crack on and have a look at my tattoo. Um, it was done by a man called Paul Terry and he works at Bold Street Tattoos in Warrington. And the reason I went to him was because I was watching um, tattoo expert Pony Lawson, who's American, um, critiquing some tattoos. And at the end, he made Paul his featured artist of the week. And Paul didn't even know about it until I told him. So uh, anyway, so that's why I chose him because I looked at his work at Pony Lawson and said, this guy's got great technique. Boom, I decided to have my first tattoo. So I'm gonna show it to you now. I will say this, Paul would be probably horrified that I'm making this ex the example of what he's done because I had it, the tattoo on Saturday. Today's Monday, so it's starting to go into that kind of uh, ugly duckling phase that tattoos go into before they get healed. So <laughs> this is Paul's, I'll show you the design anyway. So there it is, there's the design. This is um, the, um, so the, it's like an astrological sign for Lilith, which is Black Moon Lilith, and my granddaughter's called Lilith, and then you've got like a peony, an abstract kind of peony behind it. And there's a little dot there which Paul puts in because um, he likes to put that on his work. Now, as you can see, it looks kind of scabby and weird, colours are kind of weird it's a very beautiful tattoo but unfortunately I couldn't get around to filming until today but I hope you like it it's cool isn't it and for a first tattoo it's quite a good uh, size <laughs> he wanted to do it bigger than that and I was like no make it smaller so he made it small very small and I was like no bigger than that oh dear but anyway we settled on this size and then everybody in there was like whoa your first tattoo it's quite big well done yeah, one of us, one of us, all the staff and uh, punters in there were saying. So, uh, yeah, I'll take you through it, kind of. Um, so what got me up the stairs in the first place to get a tattoo was the fact that Les Roberts from um, St. Helens, she's a hypnotherapist, had helped me deal with crippling um, nervous IBS that had kept me a prisoner in my own home. Since I had some therapy with Les, I, you know, I've been to the theatre a couple of times. I've been out. I never have to take Imodium. I never have to worry about where I'm going. I still try. <laughs> My demons are still there. But um, because I've had hypnotherapy, I can deal with it all. And, uh, yeah, I thought to myself, what a test this would be to go and get a tattoo. Especially somewhere you've got to walk up, you know, quite a dark painted staircase to get to it. Oh, dear. So I'd never done it before. I did it all on my own. Um, sorry I'm wearing weird clothes it's because I'm trying to I've got a sleeveless v-neck and this because I'm trying to get air to that um, yeah I walked in I was terrified of speaking to Paul in real life I'd only like emailed him and um, I thought he'd want me to be like a gang member or a biker or something yeah I don't know what I thought um, but he was very sweet very helpful people were all like hey hi this is brilliant how are you and um, everybody in there was laughing and joking and there was music playing um, they did all the stuff I should Paul did all the stuff he wrapped all the chair in what you might call saran wrap or we call cling film everything was wrapped every single thing brand new needles out of the packet um, inks which I don't know if they what brand they were but I'm presuming they're a good one Paul was forever changing his rubber gloves every time he so much as touched anything, he took the glove off and put a new one on. Um, it, it wrapped the uh, the the uh, tattoo um, thingy. I can't even think what they're called. I only know what they're not called. It's not called a tattoo gun. Don't say that. You'll make yourself look like a fool. No one calls them that anymore. 
Um, but at one point, Paul was using to, to do the lining. He was using a, 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 a what looks a bit more machiney because they also have like pens, almost like a pen that tattoos you, uh, air, sort of um, wireless pen. But he got this quite old-fashioned looking thing to do the lining, and I and I thought I'd show him how cool I was, and I went, "Oh, Paul, you're loyal to the coil." And he said, "That would that would have been great if this had been a coil machine, but it's not." <laughs> so I was like a complete idiot. Um, did it hurt? No, not really. It felt a bit stingy, but I mean, it was nothing. Now, maybe that's because I've had three kids and f how many now? Seven injections into my eyeball in my time. <laughs> maybe that's why, but I, I just thought it was not painful at all. And um, the only problem was that when I was bragging about how hardcore I was, Paul pointed out that he'd been spraying me of a numbing spray. <laughs> <laughs> I was furious. I said, you didn't tell me that was a numbing spray. That's assault. <laughs> ah, dear. But so he said, well, all I can say is, you know, you'll have to come back again and have another tattoo, won't you? Then you'll find out what it feels like. We won't put it on. Oh, they're so addictive. As soon as you get a tattoo, you're thinking about the next one. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I might get a, a sacred heart next. And uh and then he, then we were discussing they're having a tattoo flash day on the 29th of October, ready for Halloween. And I was like, oh, I, I come in and look. <laughs> sort of small flash tattoos they do for not too much money because Halloween. I'd been told stories in the past that, you know, tattoo artists didn't like old ladies and or older women going in for their first tattoo. They just thought, oh, they're not part of our culture. Could have been further from the truth in there. Everybody's just absolutely great and absolutely determined I was going to come back again. <laughs> um, so I I think the... Uh, I don't know what difference it will make to what people think of me if they see me walking around with a visible tattoo. Um, I'm interested to see, really, if... I'm not sure. These days a lot of people have tattoos. So, I don't know. What do you think about having tattoos? I think having it was no problem. I think the aftercare is a bit more of a hassle. Um, oh, gosh, my winkle. Yeah, I've got winkler's disease, uh, which is like a, a thing that appears on your ear. If you've got, like, lots of cartilage and thin skin, it happens to old men. Oh, I know. I'm not a man, OK? <laughs> Uh, I know I look quite birch, but I've had three husbands, come on. So, yeah, laying on that can get extremely painful. It's like a kind of a bed sore, kind of pressure sore. So now I've got this. I can't be laying on this. I have to have a pillow behind me and put my arm out to get some air while I sleep. And so, yeah, that's been annoying because my winkle... Um, you do have to keep, you have to wash it and, and not touch it too much and do this kind of rubbish with clothes. But I'm just trying to keep it, um, keep the air to it. You can get stuff, I think it's called Saniderm, that you leave it over. But I don't fancy that idea if I don't have to. And um, I know my artist was agreeing with me. Like, if you can leave it out in the air, do it. Leave it out in the air. Oh, I wish it was looking like at its prime beauty, but you get the idea. Lilith. Uh, yeah, so what do you think of tattoos? Tell me. I don't care if you think that they're not good, that they, you know, that you look foolish. Or or if you think they, that it's cool, tell me that. And if you've got any questions about what it's like to be tattooed, something I haven't said yet, then just ask me in the comments and questions down below. He's a wonderful guy. I'll put Paul's Instagram link down below. Um, I will put Les Roberts' name and where she works down below, where her hypnotherapy business is, so that you can check that out. I'm not sponsored. <laughs> as if. As if anybody would want me to be the face of what they're doing. Um, I love you all. Like, subscribe. Bye. Bye.